YouTube is hard. Jeez, jeez, jeez. They lied. They told us that YouTube content creation is very simple. All you needed to be was creative and hardworking and that's it. You'll be successful. And when I started YouTube, I, I, was, I was so energetic and I thought that, okay, I need just one great content. And if I have just that one great content, in the next two hours of putting up the video, I was going to have like 5,000 views. No, no, no. Maybe 7,000 views in, in two hours. Then in 24 hours, maybe 20,000 views. As for subscribers, okay, day one, I should have 5,000 subscribers. No, no, not enough. Like 11,000 subscribers in the first day. Okay, all you needed was great content. You know, good lighting, great content, that's all. They lied. It is hard. Ah, it is very, very hard. You see? It's very hard. For a small YouTuber to make it on YouTube is always very, very difficult and very complex. So, what is the solution? How how are we going to make it here on YouTube? Is sub for sub the solution? You've heard about sub for sub. Is that the solution? Let's find out right now. So somebody has approached you and told you about sub for sub as a way of growing your YouTube channel and you're considering it sub for sub. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. What's your niche? You're into cooking. Okay. What's your niche? You're into handcraft. Okay. I do motivational videos. So sub for sub for sub. You sub to me, I sub to you. You sub to me, I sub to you. We turn on the bell notifications. When you do a video, I all eat as um. Uh, loyalty as a form of loyalty to you to watch your video right till the end okay then you do the same for me we do the same for one another sub for sub okay now seems to make sense you're meeting people every time you're doing sub for sub you're giving each other the, your words that you're gonna watch your videos right till the end and stuff like that let us get to the nitty-gritty sub for sub as far as I'm concerned, these are my feelings about sub for sub. Now, you're into a cooking niche, okay? All you do is cook. I don't have interest in cooking, for instance. And you upload a 24-minute video with my bell notification on your channel on. Then I see the video. How to make a meal that I do not even like. What is the probability that I'm going to watch that video right till the end? It's not very high, right? Okay, now I put out some content. And your bell notification tells you Victor has put up content. And you look at the content. It's not a topic that entices or resonates with you. It's a 16 minute long video. What is the probability that you're going to watch the video right till the end even if you watch it at all? See, the truth of the matter is, sub for sub to me is like owning a, a large supermarket. A large supermarket. And I go to people, like 50 people. Hey, all of you gather around here. I want to give all the people around the impression that I make a lot of sales. So I need 50 of you to walk into my shopping mall and be window shopping. Pick up stuff, look at them, drop them back. You don't need to buy anything. Just give the impression that I am making sales. That's all I want you to do. Now, I have a lot of customers, but I have zero sales. That's what Sub for Sub does for you. Sub for Sub increases your subscriber count, but your watch hours remain low. I've seen somebody with 100,000 subscribers before watch time, less than 1K watch time. That's horrible. It is terrible. If you check your YouTube analytics, you'll find out that your subscriber list is growing because of your sub for sub. But those of your sub for sub guys are not watching your videos, my dear. Your watch hour is very, very low. You're not going anywhere with sub for sub. The idea of YouTube is to target those that are interested in your niche. Those people, you don't even need to subscribe to their channel. I'm a content creator. I'm subscribed to some channels that 
I love watching. I don't mandate, mandate them to subscribe to me. They don't have to if they don't want to. I derive value from their videos. That's why I'm watching them. It's not because we're doing some collaboration on a sub for sub basis. No, it doesn't work that way. So how can we grow on YouTube organically? Well, I see the algorithm, the algorithm, you know, favors some videos because the algorithm wants videos that can keep viewers long on YouTube. Okay, they want they want um, a video that is gonna make people stay long on it on on YouTube, watching your video, spending time on YouTube. All these things are in your analytics. Okay, your 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 retention, how you retain uh, our viewers, your viewer retention all these analytics are there okay that's what the algorithm looks like okay it looks at it like okay this video has the uh, potential to keep people on youtube it's interesting okay people stay long watching this guy's video now they start recommending your videos the algorithm start featuring your videos suggesting it to people that's how you grow okay now i see it as this kind of scenario okay in a football team you have just 11 players on the pitch now on the bench you have like seven eight or even ten other players sitting on the bench those players sitting on the bench what is the best advice you could give to such people the best advice is be ready be ready whenever the coach features you now that guy is playing all the matches you just be ready even if you get just a five minute chance to play make sure you make a very good impression make sure you make a very huge impact so that the coach would say wow this guy had just five minutes and he was able to do this what if he had 90 minutes then the coach would consider featuring you in the next match now the coach in this scenario is the youtube algorithm the guys on the bench are the small youtubers like us now the algorithm is not featuring us yet okay fine so what do we do we have to always put out great content with value with value make do with whatever you have make do with the gears that you have make do with the lighting that you have put out great content so that if and when the algorithm looks your way this guy is always making videos and uploading every time okay let me just feature him for for just today and the algorithm features you for just one day and people start watching your videos back to back to back to back to back to back and they're stuck on your channel watching your video then the algorithm will be like wow i will feature this guy next time so that's how it works you have to be ready put out great content every time don't listen to people that tell you put up one video per week well one video per week is not bad but if you have the time and you are determined to grow put out videos as often as possible as often as possible that's the advice i've gotten from lots of big time youtubers who have been creating content for years back to back because the algorithm the algorithm has a way of forgetting you if you don't upload all the time if there is an activity on your channel very often maybe every two days every three days the algorithm recognizes that and you know features your videos some more of course do your search engine optimization use the right tags in your in your video titles use searchable searchable words searchable searchable sentences just on the on the youtube search tab search on something then you have suggestions of what people have been searching about make your topic or your subject to be around that such keywords okay put the keywords in your description do a great video do your best you cannot kill yourself one day somebody will watch your video and they'll be like wow and they're going to share that video with somebody and that somebody will share the video with somebody and somebody will share the video with someone and someone will share the video with mister and mister will share the video with missus and pastor will share the video with the imam and the christian will share the video with the muslim and uh, the buddhist is going to share it with the native doctors and just like that you're going to go viral that's how to go viral one person sees it shares it with two shares it with four and it keeps spreading like wildfire and before you know you're going to grow see youtube content creation is worth it way beyond the money you're going to earn from the ads you're able to make yourself a brand make yourself a voice okay if you have a business it's going to be very easy for you to market your business because video marketing is a big deal out there brands can approach you and tell you oh wow we look out we love how you talk we love how you act we want you to advertise our brand that's how it's done do not sell yourself short do not be 
criticizing yourself unduly you're doing your best you are doing your best now this is the quietest room in this house there's a whole lot of noise out there i could have afforded to say wow i'm not recording today there is no light the generator is making a sound out there and the kids are playing out there i'm not gonna do a video today but i said no i will not judge myself i'm putting out these videos for you viewers out there to look at it and i'm sure you don't even mind do you mind you don't mind so that's it you know don't be judgmental on yourself don't look for reasons not to create content on youtube okay now some people are saying wow i wish i had started seven years ago seven years is gone you can't go back seven years in time the best time is still now you know why this is 2020 the best time is now you know why with how difficult it is to grow on YouTube now in 2020, I bet you in 2030, 10 years from now, people are going to look back and say, oh, I wish I had started. I wish I had started in 2020. So go out there, record some content, put out something out there. There's something people can learn from you. There's something, don't assume that people know what you know. There are some things you know that people don't know. No matter how little it is, no matter how foolish it is, I know several channels that do child's play. There's a channel that what the little girl does is she just eats. She eats. She eats. She eats. She eats. She, eats. she, has, she has several thousand viewers and she has several thousand watch hours. She eats. All she does is eat. She doesn't even say a word. I don't know her voice. She eats. Everybody eats. Is eating a talent. Yes, but she's making it on YouTube. So you can make it too. Okay, if you love this video, do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. Give me a like. The algorithm likes such things. You know, we are trying to please the algorithm now. <laughs> then share this video with more people so they can see it. So that Mr. Algorithm would favor this video and favor my channel. I remain your boy, Victor Esibo. Till I see you next time, it's bye for now.